Well, hello once again, farm and friends. Welcome back to another edition of Farm Simulator 2015 with me, your buddy, Mr. Moose. Well, as you can see by the clock, uh, we have advanced the time a little bit to uh, hopefully get our fields growing. and um, But unfortunately, they're not. They're still not harvestable. So and rather than start a field, I'm still waiting on them. And, uh, you know, I talk with some other people, and it's just a glitch in the game. It um, doesn't make a lick of sense now, does it? So, but we do have some uh, silage ready over at the BGA. So we are going to head over there, and we're going to start firing the BGA up and getting some money in because um, I want a new combine really bad so we're going to uh, head over there and we're going to try this and hopefully it works so the plan is, is we'll take the conveyor belt over we'll fill up a tipper with it then once the tippers full we'll uh, dump the tipper onto the conveyor into the BGA bin so hopefully that's going to work And we'll see what kind of results we get out of the BGA. I have no idea because I've never used uh, this particular BGA, nor have I used uh, this particular uh, processor over here. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what's up. And we'll see how it works. And hopefully... Uh, the use of this conveyor will work and we won't need to rent or purchase a uh, front end loader because I really just don't see a need for one unless we do sheep and I have to tell you I'm not too impressed with sheep I, I sort of I'm sort of on sheep like I am on chickens um, you know the eggs are not that profitable and sort of annoying um, and at the same time um, yeah I think uh, sheep are kind of that way you you take them a little grass and a little water that's not that to, you know bad of a deal but um, yeah I don't know what I'm doing I'm talking and not thinking I need to turn this thing around so I can drop it off but anyways uh, you know grass water and you leave them but it takes so long for the wool to make and then when it does it's um you got to do the whole forklift thing and it's sort of a sort of a pain I don't know all right up goes the conveyor belt and remember the controls for this are J to, uh, J is up N is down and then uh, M and K change the boom force and B turns on the belt and we can disconnect it there and drive out of this thing and we hook up yeah now we can just back this puppy in there we go it is ready to go all right, so we are going to head to the farm and pick up our Flegel trailer that we haven't been able to use because it won't get under the pipe of our combine. <sighs> so anyways, so yeah, 1811 and still no fields to harvest that's some clean water isn't it you can see straight down into it either that or that's the reflection of a tree and in that case it's not some clean water
so you missed yesterday I uh, off screen after the recording was over I went to move a piece of equipment and I was driving the um, I was driving the dudes far the big ones with uh, the one that had the cultivator on the back of it and I made a turn like this and I couldn't have been doing more than 20 when I made the turn but um, and I have noticed that that combination is really unstable it flipped that whole rig over upside down to where <laughs> the, the tractor was on its roof and the uh, the cultivator was uh, was uh, was upside down as well I tried everything to get it to, to ride itself you know from unpacking the cultivator and everything didn't didn't work I had to end up having to reset everything to the farm but it was just pretty it was one of those ooh, whoa moments which I don't get why that's so unstable with that combination tractor and a cultivator unless the cultivator is just way too heavy for that tractor but uh I've pulled that cultivator with that little case and I didn't seem to have that instability with it so I don't know it was a uh, it was a funny thing I wanted to take a screenshot of it but I uh, really didn't really didn't have anywhere I could put it I need to set up a Facebook page to do little screenshots and stuff might do that today Alright, so we'll get back over here. Other thing we're going to do on this video, I guess, uh, while we're over at the BGA, we're going to set the lawnmower up to uh, mow some grass and dump it in the uh, into the first BGA. I'm going to automate that. Because since we're making money with this guy, we, uh, we need to be filling that BGA up. And uh, so while this is, if this processes like I think it will, we'll, uh, we'll set that up while it's processing. I'm guessing, you know, the my big my big country was modded to 60,000 liters. Um, that thing's huge over there. But if it's stock, it's 20,000 liters. If it's uh, if it's modded, it'll be more. I just have no idea what we're gonna get out of it. So um, let's pull this guy out of the way. I'm sort of fingers crossed it's going to work. If it works real good, we'll just get another cult, uh, another uh, conveyor belt. Put one conveyor belt over there all the time, and then. Uh, all right. So the way I want to do this is uh, I want to boom over like so, and then I'm just going to drive up to the side of it. Come on, dump. Oh, there's a light pole over there. That's not going to work. Forgot about the light bar. Uh, let's go K. Now let's see if we can get past the light bar. And now we should be able to boom. Haha, it works. Rock on with your bad self. Nice. And we made a little money. So we are going to make money off this BGA. Swing. All right. Now we can pull this guy over here, back him up to the conveyor. So there's 32,000 liters in here. And if a bucket is $1,200, we should make some pretty good thing. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at the money coming in. Sweet. We're in the money. Pump it in. Now, let's see what the capacity on this thing is. So, it took 12,000 liters. All right, it took uh, 
22,000. So it's about 22,000 is with that. So it's stock. It's 20,000 like the game is. It probably processed a little bit in the beginning. So it's just going to sit there and do its thing and bounce a little bit out. So while that's going on, let's go over here where I left the lawnmower. And we'll, uh, we'll set up to mow some grass. Because it's going to take a little time to process some of that. That's good news. We got money coming in. I mean, there's silage wise, there's probably a couple hundred thousand in there. Maybe a uh, maybe a hundred fifty thousand, something like that. That'll uh, help out a lot. All right, so we're gonna drive into this field. And we're going to cut it and load it into the BGA bunker. Uh, so I'll go ahead and record new course. Oops, I didn't want to drop that. Alright, I want to record a course coming out of here into the first BGA bunker. And uh, this will be the first time I record a course for you since figuring out our mistakes. Alright, so we start recording the course, and we'll head around here. Uh, so the trick to it is uh, we want to make sure our course is a little bit uh, a little bit longer so the trailer can straighten up. And then uh, we just want a straight path when we're backing in. So we'll come around, we'll swing out, and then I'll have this pull pretty good forward so that when it backs up so you should have straightened the trailer in that distance so I think we're good we'll switch into reverse and for the BGA bunker you want to back all the way into the bunker keeping as straight a line as possible because remember this is the path that the trailer is going to be following the tractor you don't want to have to do too many adjustments or the tractor will get out of whack and run into the walls and such so we're gonna run it all the way to the back of the bunker and um, so what should happen is it will get all the way back here and then it'll start unloading as we pull forward um, at least that's the way it's written up on course play uh, I've never backed into a BGA bunker before uh, as you know, there's, there are several tip points in the BGA bunkers so that, um, or several triggers, and so it will take a little bit in each section uh, to fill it up so it just doesn't pour it all in one big clump. All right, so let's record that, and we'll save that as field 32. Uh, grass to BGA one. All right, and I just, I just, you know, label mine. The first one you come to is one. The second one's two. It, you know, you label yours however you want to. All right, with that save, we can get rid of that. I'm going to organize it. I'm trying to get a little more organized. So let's move that to my field 32 folder and in my field 32 folder I've got my perimeter layout and so we're gonna make a driving course and we're gonna say um, starting corner is going to be northeast going south uh, referring to first point really didn't matter but we'll activate that Three headlands generate course. We're good to go on that. We need to add in our grass to BGA1. And I need to save that course as field 32 mo slash BGA1.
and that's my newest shorthand for mowing and taking it to the BGA one bunker all right so with that done we need to go hook up our forge wagon and here's the trick again remember forge wagon has to be the first thing connected so we drop the mower I can't actually see because course plays in the way that on there good to go and just for start at first waypoint drive course and I'll just let it go do its thing and you and I will go back to the BGA and see if we can load some more in and make some more money so that's gonna go that's good Let's tip that see if it'll take the rest of this trailer ah it will so that trailer netted us, uh, let's see, 22,000 is about what that trailer load got us. Nice. All right, drop the trailer. And the conveyor belt still processing. Come on, empty. emptying only 600 more I wonder how much a conveyor belt holds I never have really looked at that have I I know a uh, the universal bucket for a front end loader is like uh, 1860 All right, we're empty. So we can pull around here. Taking it easy because this thing is very top heavy now. And does not have a very good base on it. And we can back in. That'll load up so it holds 2,000 actually holds more than a front end loader so even if we just drug it back and forth we'd be doing good it would take forever though and you couldn't automate that in course play well we still had some left in there all right so we're going to Fill this guy up again. All right. Oh, we didn't get it all full. Oh, I messed up there. I'm doing some dumb stuff. Oh, really dumb now. I'm all out of shape. to get in the tractor and actually drive it in a minute hate when I do that. Oh, just for simplicity. I'm just going to do this. I 
all right so we'll fill this thing all the way up hopefully all right pull that out of the way and we'll move our conveyor belt again and we will start processing some more silage for cash and I like that idea See if we can avoid that light pole this time. Do do. Don't hit it. Oh yeah. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I wish I knew how much though it was in that thing, so uh, you could judge what you needed to to dump into it. back up so we get a tip icon should be right about now there we go and so we took about seven thousand so it took about five thousand in and then there's another two thousand on the conveyor belt so that's cool so that's doing that let's go over here check out this guy he's about 30 percent full and I want to make him go to the BGA because I want to see if our course works. So let's um, let's let him get right down here, and we'll make him turn. So let's tell him to drive now. He'll turn, run through the fence. Don't 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 don't. All right, so he's going to go back to the starting point and then take our route into the BGA yeah I'm just doing this so I can see that I didn't mess the route up alright so there he goes and he makes his turn Alright, so hopefully I set this where he gets all good and straight. Looks like he is. And he should be able to just back straight in. I love it when it works like it's supposed to. And to think it was all in connecting the trailer first. So we'll back up so you can see what happens. So yeah, you know... It says down at the bottom tip trigger has been reached but again the way course play's got it set up it will back all the way into the BGA uh, till it gets all the way to the end of it and then it will start tipping and well it started a little early it did say something about it would it would dump a little bit out to sort of make a ramp so yeah, but at least it puts it way back in the back and doesn't put it all at the front. So it becomes a mountain to try to get over. Okay, so that's working. And uh, he'll just go back over there and resume his route uh, where we rudely interrupted him. He's like, I wish they would leave me alone. I just want to give my grass mode. Alright, so let's go check on this guy. 
Our conveyor's empty. Let's dump a little more out and see how much we can get on there. Eh, about another 5,000. So this will be slow going. But it would be so worth it. To get some money. To get the new combine. While we're waiting on that. Let's look at. Uh, well. We're not really waiting when we interrupt and go in here. Because we pause the game. Uh, but let's look at where we're at. And I'll give you a quick update. Um, pigs. 100% productivity. Uh, still haven't put on any slaughter weight. We're up to four chickens now. That can go to the butcher. Ha <laughs> ha. They're so wonderful. And uh, beefies, yeah, we're in the same thing. No slaughter weight on them yet, but we are 100% productivity. And uh, again, no silage. Uh, I was talking to some folks last night, and they were shocked uh, or kind of surprised that they didn't need silage or earth fruits to get up to 100%. So, um, yeah. But we're all kind of of the same opinion that I think the other one, those other options are really just there as gives you variety to feed them as to you're not just trapped into feeding them some stuff, but you do have to have total mixed rations is the hierarchy though, that you have to have that. So, um, I can't swear that by that because I'm not the developer and I'm not the person, uh, who created the mod but um, just looking at how it functions and from what I've read I, I think that would be the case that you, you you know if you didn't if there wasn't some benefit to TMR why would you put it in the game you know so uh, yeah anyways so we're just gonna keep feeding this puppy and uh, cranking out some more and some more and some more and uh, trying to get, need to get a screenshot here for the old, uh, for the old uh, YouTube channel. So let's do that real quick. Hopefully that took. And um, yeah, so we'll just, uh, it's time consuming, but in the end it will get us that new combine we need. Uh, there's a case axial flow in our future kids with a big huge honking cutter thrasher on the front of it so that we can cut at a faster pace and get more harvesting done. And that's about it for today. Um, we could do some sewing soon. Um, my goal was to, uh, to do that early in the a.m. on day six. Uh, you know, like five-ish in the morning. To knock out the seating. So that's, uh, sort of where I'm at with that. But yeah, meanwhile, none of our fields are maturing. So we're just sitting here waiting. Oh look. We made some progress. How about that? Now we can get back to harvesting. Very, very cool. Alright, so dump a little bit more of this. And we can uh, get that harvester fired up. Finish this field finally. See, all you got to do is talk bad about the game, and uh, it will correct itself. You say, hey, yeah, well, our fields aren't ready, and then all of a sudden it'll make you a liar by showing you that your field is ready. That guy, he just, he just lies all the time. Tells us I can't do this, and I can. Tells me I can do this, and I can't. Shows me how to back into a bin and it doesn't work. So, how about that? We got a little BGA work done. 
a little uh, mowing grass to dump into the BGA bunker done and we're gonna harvest the field this is like a mega episode if I fertilize the field we just be like wow this guy gets every he's a multitasker he gets it done Alright guys, well, we can move forward finally, get all this stuff harvested, and we can uh, get ready to plant. And I think the next planting, probably going to be something like... Um, Gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know what's worth planting right now. Maybe some wheat and barley. Um, we got a ton of corn already. I don't know, I don't know what you guys want to see. Um, we got all the potatoes planted. And we're going to have plenty of them. Um... And harvesting potatoes is like harvesting uh, sugar beets. It's just one more thing to do. Um, I don't know. I'll look. You know, the multi-fruit stuff just doesn't have very much value in it. Um, the yield on it is about the same as your yield for wheat and uh, and barley, but it's it's much much cheaper in the sales it doesn't uh it's not nearly worth planting unless it gets some kind of outrageous price when it gets a uh a uh, high demand pretty much i think i've pretty much got everything filled up now so it's it's um whenever we do get a high demand we're uh we're gonna be sitting in good shape because we can uh we can go make some money on it i hate to miss the high demand on canola boy that would have been a bankroll wouldn't it we could have made some bank on that so this one field here fertilized yielded uh two full agriliners already so that's a pretty good drop. Um, well, we didn't have any canola when I started this field. And we are at... Let's look at what we got. We didn't have any canola and we got 45,000 liters. So uh, we, we got a good harvest off this one field. It's done real good. Um... So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get another four thousand off of it now, and uh, yeah, so about forty nine hundred liters or forty nine thousand liters off of this one field. That's pretty darn good. And then we got three more fields to harvest, so we'll be sitting pretty on canola. Um, We'll have at least a hundred thousand liters of it in the uh, in the silo. That way, if we need a little bit more uh, money for getting our combine, uh, we'll have it. And then we can look at what upgrades after we get the combine. Uh, we'll look at what upgrades that we can uh, possibly think of moving forward. Maybe we can get a semi soon. I think a next purchase after the combine, there needs to be some sort of storage bins or something like that to move some grains and such over to the uh, the pigs and the uh, and over into the livestock area. 
so we don't have to keep driving stuff over there. We can certainly take and put uh, a placeable heap over there for potatoes. But again, I still need a way to get them, move them without having to take a conveyor belt over there. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Alright guys, so uh, this video is about uh, past our 30 minute mark. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. And uh, what I'll do is uh, go ahead and I'll probably go ahead and harvest a couple of fields off camera to get them done and uh, get those out of the way. And then when we come back, we'll be done with the BGA and uh, we'll continue to load it and get it done. And then next video, uh, I hope I'll have the um, with the grass mowing going. Uh, if we can get the grass in the bunker filled on up, we'll uh, we'll go over how to compress that. In case you're wondering, uh, we'll compress down our bunker, get it ready to wrap. We'll wrap it, and um, and then we'll probably seed some fields in the next video. All right, hey guys, as always, I do appreciate you watching. Um, if you like the video, let's dump some more into here real quick. If you like the video, make sure you do give me a thumbs up on there. Just lets me know you're enjoying it. And uh, if you want to subscribe to know when uh, new videos are released, just make sure you uh, check the subscription button. Uh, other than that, come on back tomorrow. We'll have another video up for you. And, um, and we'll just see what kind of things we can get into. I can't promise it'll be North Brabant, but uh, there'll be more North Brabant on the way. Uh, until our next video, stay safe as always and have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. And if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.